Motorcycle Tires, where the rubber meets the road. Kyle Bradshaw from Cruiser Customizing here with Mark Johnson from Parts Unlimited for your Cruiser Customizing Tire Tip of the Week. All right, Mark. Online and in our retail showroom, we get customers that walk in every day and say, hey, you know what? I know I've got tires on my bike. I know tires are important, but when do I know that I need new tires? And how do I choose the tires that I'm next going to put on my motorcycle? The first thing is obviously the amount of tread depth. If you don't have an acceptable amount of tread left on the tire, it's obviously time. The second indicator is an unusual wear pattern, cupping possibly, that is ruining the ride of the motorcycle or the steering of the motorcycle. If you're taking a long trip, you have 3,000 miles of tire wear left on a 4,000 mile trip, it's probably better to put on a new set of tires before you go out on your vacation. And then so, so when a customer walks in and says, hey, I need a new set of tires, what would you ask them? What are the initial questions you'd ask to know which tire would be best for them? Are you happy with the tire that's currently on the motorcycle is the first thing. And that if you are completely satisfied, again, there's no reason to change just for change's sake. The second one is if you're not happy, what are your expectations? Are you looking for an improved ride, improved mileage, higher load capacity? And that the third one is the riding conditions. If you are a commuter in Dade County, Florida, it's going to be a lot different than if you're a tourer that lives in Phoenix. So you want to choose a tire that may optimize for the conditions that you're going to use it in. Is there any tread pattern indicators that we'd want to look at in order to choose a tire? Well, in general, tire companies will refer to what they call a land to sea ratio, the amount of tread to the amount of rubber that you have on the road as a primary indicator. Again, a more aggressively treaded tire tends to disperse water better. So um, one of the first questions you ask is, are you happy with your current tire? If I'm happy with my OEM, that's cool. But what if I'm looking for an upgrade? The main reason you would choose an upgraded tire is you're looking for an increase in load capacity, mileage, ride quality, or handling characteristics, or a combination of those. The stock tire was designed for one rider on the bike, where if you're loading saddlebags, a tea bag on the back, and a passenger, it's almost certain you're going to be needing an increased load capacity tire. 491 was designed to be a heavier load capacity tire and to offer higher mileage. Now while talking about upgraded tires, Metzler has been one of the industry leaders when it comes to upgrading your tires in the cruiser segment of the market. Metzler's 880 was developed with a little bit different approach. It has a much more modern high-tech belting package that allows the tire to run cooler on the road while still maintaining stability and by running cooler they're allowed to run a softer rubber compound without getting the wear from the excessive heat. Tire sizing is extremely important. So when we look at the sidewall of a tire, we've got lots of numbers up here. This one here is a 140-90-15 and it says 70H. What exactly are we going to glean from these numbers on the side of the tire? Okay, the numbers start with the width of the tire, that's 140 millimeters. The second number is a percentage and that's the aspect ratio, so it's 90% as high as it is wide. You have a 15 inch diameter tire, and the 70 indicates a load rating, and the H indicates a speed rating. So tire pressure is an extremely important aspect of motorcycle tires, motorcycle maintenance, and... Proper tire pressure is the single most important thing you can do to ensure the proper handling and the longevity of your tire. Overinflated tire will decrease the size of the contact patch and create accelerated wear in the remaining area. Okay. An underinflated tire actually creates an enormous amount of flex inside the carcass which generates heat that generates much accelerated wear as it cycles back and forth through a heat cycle. The pressure inside the tire at that point is actually fluctuating up and down mm -hmm. as the tire heats and cools. So the recommendation is to carry a pencil tire pressure gauge with you wherever you go or install some sort of TPM, Tire Pressure Monitoring System. Now just recently, the Power Cruiser has really hit the market hard. We've got bikes with huge motors, lots of displacement, putting mad power out. Is there anything new that we're going to see to the market that's going to be able to conquer that? We've recently seen the introduction of the Pirelli Night Dragon Tire, which is the first high-performance cruiser marketed tire and it is to address the specific demands of a bike that is both a cruiser and a high-performance machine. So what kind of characteristics could we expect to see out of that Night Dragon? 
So you're getting better traction, you're getting better cornering. This new generation is the cruisers that are made to ride at limits that previous cruisers never approached. Well, thank you, Mark, for your time today coming out and talking about tires and what they mean to us as motorcycle riders. We appreciate your knowledge and expertise. Thank you, Kyle, for the opportunity. I hope we've helped clear some decisions up for people out there. There you go. Go to the garage. Check your bike. Do you need new tires? Thank you for watching this week's Cruiser Customizing Tire Tip of the Week. Until next week, take care and ride safe.